Hello my beloved and welcome to my today's message about knowing and understanding the ways of God. I will begin by asking this question. How do we know and understand the ways of God? Long ago when the children of Israel imitated the abomination and the wickedness of the nation God had won them against, they were taken captives by the king of Assyria to Syria, and the people of Assyria, Gutha, Abba, Hamad, and from the Shephim were brought in the land of Israel in the cities of Samaria to replace the people. But the people, because they are foreigners, or they, are, they knew only how to worship their gods, which was contrary to the land or the promised land, Therefore, they do not understand or know the ways of God. As a result, God sent lions among them and the lions started to devour the people. Therefore, it forced them to cry to their king, the king of Assyria, who also commanded that a priest may be brought from the land of Assyria to Samaria their land so that he may teach or train the people the ways or the rituals of the Lord God of hosts so that they may not die from the wrath that God had released against them. This we can get from 2 Kings 17, 24 and 29 how they were the Israelites because of or disobeying God taken to captivity in Syria and the, and the Syrian king brought other people to replace them but they do not know the ways of God. Hallelujah. Second example were the children of Israel themselves. Or before I talk about the children of Israel, Pharaoh or the one who afflicted and oppressed the children of Israel, he never knew the ways of God. He never knew in fact or yearning who God was in the first place, such that when Moses and Aaron went and told him that God delighted that the children of Israel go and sacrifice to him in the wilderness, he said, who is the Lord that I should obey his voice and let Israel go? I do not know the Lord, nor will I let Israel go. Exodus 5, 1 2. He did not know the Lord, and he did not want to let the children of Israel go, because he did not understand the ways of God, neither understand God himself, or to go to let the children of Israel go and worship their God in the wilderness because as heathen nation they only believed in worshiping their gods that's why at first he had told Moses they can as well worship in their lands but Moses told him it will be as an abomination to the Egyptians how they worship their God the true God the living God Furthermore, when Moses and Aaron requested the children of Israel go and worship their Lord in the wilderness, the affliction or the oppression of the people increased. First, they were given the straw of how to make the bread, but from that day, they, they ceased giving them and they were to go in all the lands of, of Egypt to look for this straw to make the water as they did before. They were beaten their form of labor, harsh labor increased mercilessly. They thought when Moses goes to Pharaoh to ask the Lord to release the children of Israel, they may thought that maybe a day or just after, if the day after they will be released and the work will cease. But that is the time they faced the losing. The work doubled and the labor, the affliction increased mercilessly. They did not like the manner how they were treated. Even officers that were selected, they were beaten and also asked why they have not completed their work as per other days. So they met with Aaron and Moses on the way. And they were so bitter and asked why they are being treated the way they were being treated. So therefore it forced Moses to go again and ask God why the people are going through such harsh labor with the rigor and difficulties, affliction and oppression more than before. 
this was as a result because they did not know nor understand the ways of God. That also happens in our ways or in our days. Sometimes before a breakthrough or a blessing, sometimes people go through difficulties and challenges until sometimes it forces to ask, is there really God in this or is the enemy trying to attack? Because we don't always know the ways of God nor understand the way God works. Sometimes when we hear that God will bless us and will be a blessing, we think that it will just come on a silver plate, but rather we don't know how God works for us to reach the promise, for us to reach that covenant or to receive the blessing ordained for us. We don't always or we don't actually know or understand the ways of God. Sometimes he comes in miraculous ways that we don't understand. God, he wanted to manifest himself in Egypt and before Pharaoh by, uh, by uh, performing all the miracles and the, the plagues that were done in Egypt and the last one that made Pharaoh to release the children of Israel by killing all the firstborns of humanity and beast in Egypt. That was the greatest of all of them that Pharaoh had to release the children of Israel to go and worship their God because that is how God had ordained. Nobody knows the ways of God. These ways are miraculous and he works in a mysterious ways that sometimes is unknown to individuals because sometimes God wants to judge people or maybe he works in, a, in ways that are contrary to humanity. As my part is short, so Moses spoke thus to the children of Israel, but they did not heed Moses because of anguish of spirit and well bonded. Exodus 6, 9. So after God asking God why the Egyptians mistreated the children of Israel, that was because God delighted to judge the land. This was the one that was given to our forefather Abram, that the nation that they will suffer affliction and bondage after that the Lord will judge that nation. Now to them they did not understand their was judgment before being released or before taken out from the bondage land the God had to bring judgment. So sometimes we wait upon the Lord to perform some things but his ways are not known to our ways or we neither understand his ways. For us to know his way or to understand the ways of God, we have to have a good relationship with him and to love him. David became a man after God's own heart because he was delighted to wait upon the Lord and to give it all to God. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, they were friends with God. So for us to know or understand the ways of God. We have to have a good relationship with our God and our Father and right standing with God. That is graciousness. Father, I bless and honor the world name. I worship and adore thee. I pray that you may grant us the grace of King of Glory so that we may know and understand the ways of King of Glory. You may grant us the knowledge that we need to know and understand the ways of King of Glory. This one says in Amos 3, 7 that God does nothing until he reveals it to his servants, the prophets. So if we have a good relationship Ship with God. You will reveal to us what your, your plan or your purposes for our time or per season. I bless and honor the Holy Name. I bless and worship the eternal of the glory, honor, adoration, and praise. Amen. Until next time, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord do you good. Bless and favor from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen.